triiodothyronine, which is known as T3, and its prohormone thyroxine, which is known as T4, make up the thyroid hormones. Both are tyrosine-based molecules, which are conjugated to iodide. Three iodides for T3 and four for T4. T4 is inactive, while T3 is the active form. T4 is converted to the active T3 form by deiodinases. We'll talk more about deiodinases in our micro lesson on thyroid hormone function. In this lesson, we'll focus on the synthesis of T3 and T4, which occurs in the thyroid gland in a multi-step fashion. Let's begin with how the cells of the thyroid gland take up iodide from the plasma. It starts with a transport of iodide ions from the plasma into the follicular cells across the basolateral membrane via the sodium iodide co-transporter, which uses the sodium electrochemical potential to drive the transport of one iodide ion and two sodium ions. Once inside the cell, the extra sodium ions are transported back out of the cell via the sodium potassium ATPase, while the iodide ion is transported across the apical membrane into the colloid space via the Pendrin co-transporter. Pendrin transports one iodide ion into the colloid space in exchange for one chloride. However, the precise stoichiometry remains unclear. Once inside the colloid space, the enzyme thyroperoxidase oxidizes two iodide ions to form one iodine molecule. Next, the peroxidase iodinates the tyrosyl residues of the thyroglobulin protein. Iodinating a single tyrosyl residue forms monoiodotyrosine, while iodinating two tyrosyl residues forms diiodotyrosine. Iodination of tyrosyl residues causes the thyroperoxidase to conjugate neighboring tyrosyl residues. This is important to note because it results in three different types, T4, T3, and RT3. RT3 is biologically inactive. The thyroglobulin protein involved in this process was initially synthesized in the endoplasmic reticulum of the follicular cells and secreted into the colloid space via exocytosis. Following the iodination and conjugation, the iodinated thyroglobulin binds megalin, which is an endocytic receptor located in the apical membrane of follicular cells. Binding megalin promotes the endocytosis of the iodinated thyroglobulin, after which lysosomes containing proteases fuse to the thyroglobulin containing vesicle. The proteases then cleave the peptide bonds that flank where the T4, T3, or RT3 are located on the peptide backbone of the thyroglobulin. Once cleaved, T4 and T3 are transported out of the cell across the basolateral membrane via the monocarboxylate transporter. Once secreted into the plasma, 70% of the T3 and T4 are bound to thyroxine binding globulin. Slightly less than 15% of the T3 and T4 are bound to thyroxine binding prealbumin. 15% is bound to albumin. 0.03% of the T4 is unbound or free, while 0.3% of the T3 is unbound or free. Now, thyroxine binding globulin is synthesized and secreted from the liver. It buffers the thyroid hormone, which helps normalize the plasma concentration and prolong the half-lives of T3 and T4. T4 and T3 are taken up by cells via the monocarboxylate transporter. Inside these cells, T4 is converted to T3 by the deiodinases. Next, T3 binds the nuclear receptor, which promotes the translocation of T3 into the nucleus. We'll talk more about the role of T3 in the micro lesson titled Thyroid Hormone Function.